It's the health issues. Consider this, that that Gordon Ryan has taken seven months off from competition for a very good reason. That is the fact that his athletic performance is not where he feels it needs to be to be competing against the best grapplers in the world. Philip Rowe is about as athletic and in shape as you can get, and he is flying right now. Well, he's, a pro, he's, a, he's a pro uh, MMA fighter. He's fighting in the UFC with the recent fight of the night, right? Or exactly. And, so, um, performs of the night. Yeah, performs so, of the night. Yeah, exactly. So, Philip Rowe is going to be coming in in 100% shape, whereas Gordon, what, 50%? 60%, maybe not even that, you know, it Hopefully depends on how that. bad his stomach is, right? <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I mean, there, there are question marks, and I think there's there's a lot of curiosities, let's say. Oh, yeah. That are very different than um, a normal match, than, than a uh, like a title fight. We're going to see uh, what kind of state Gordon's in. We're going to see what he's currently toying with in, in the workshop. Like, you know, what kind of techniques is he working on? Where, where is he focusing his time? And also the results of his treatment plan, his ongoing treatment plan as well, which we have actually had a little bit of insight into because since Gordon relocated from Puerto Rico to Austin, Texas, we've been able to catch up with him a few times and follow him around. We have a series of vlogs on our website following Gordon for his day-to-day -day life and teaching at Hensel Gracie Austin, training at the Roca Training Center, and also visiting Waste Well, which is, uh, you know, who are taking care of his Recovery. Let's play this clip of Gordon here and hear from the man himself. Now for all the haters who have uh, tried to tell me that my tummy egg isn't, real, isn't really an excuse to not compete. Um, I have actual doctors. I have, I've posted actual test results, um, but nobody wants to look at those. Um, and, uh, or they just say, oh, the steroids messed me up. No, the antibiotics messed me up. Um, but the good news is I should have it under control sooner than later between the ways to well and this doctor in california who's treating me um i got a couple different guys on it and uh if and when i get better you guys are just so fucked i am somehow i've managed to maintain the size some size so uh i'm like about to be bigger than i've ever been and um my stomach's not even healthy yet so Hopefully, like, I'm, like, a 275-pound Gordon when uh, my stomach actually gets better, and I just traumatize everyone for the rest of your lives. Okay, typical words there from uh, from Gordon Ryan, <laughs> something that we're very accustomed to hearing, saying that you're all fucked, basically, when he comes back. But we have some more strong words in here, because the question, of course, is does, where does Gordon go from here? What does he do next? Mm. And if his recovery is going to plan, and if he is able to compete, legitimately compete against actual world-class opponents following this exhibition match, it absolutely makes sense for a match with Tim Spriggs at some point. Our who's number one heavyweight champion. Well, speaking of Tim Spriggs, Mr. Spriggs is in the comments of the Ooh. YouTube channel right now. What's Tim got to say? Tim's got a lot to say. <laughs> Tim's got a lot to say. How is the pound for pound king? competing against a non-grappler in an exhibition match. Give that man some saltine crackers and ginger <laughs> ale for his tummy ache. <laughs> I love that. Says that he should win an Oscar with all his pretending and that he doesn't want any smoke with Spriggs. Wow. I want to see that think about that? I, I love it. Yeah. I mean, it, it is, of course, the natural progression too. Um, Gordon being a champion at WNO multiple times over and... Uh, Tim winning the most recent championship, you gotta do it. You, you gotta, gotta do you it. You gotta run it. Listen, I'll be honest that if Gordon wants to keep that number one ranking spot, then he has to compete against fellow grapplers. And the fact is that this year he's had a couple of grappling matches against against opponents who were willing to step up, but there weren't many of them. But these were grapplers who weren't even ranked in his weight class. Well, now we have a heavyweight champion. If you want to become, if you want to be, if you want to retain that number one pound for pound spot, surely you got to take on the biggest, baddest man out there. And that should be the heavyweight title holder, right? That should be mm -hmm. Tim's bricks. And Tim is saying that Gordon's going to do everything he can to avoid the mush master. What do you think about that, Corey? I, I, I love Tim, Tim Spriggs calling out his shot as the champion should do. I, I think he's absolutely living up to the who's number one championship title. I would love to see this match, obviously. We gotta ask Gordon. We'll have to ask him this week. Gordon, we what will, do you think about that? We will see him very soon indeed. We'll see him tomorrow and uh, we'll be able to ask him his thoughts on a potential match with Mr. Spriggs. I uh, I think the fans, I think the fans would love to see that. Let's get it going. I would love to. I would love to. Thanks for jumping in that uh, in the YouTube comments there, Mr. Uh, Mr. Spriggs. We'd love to see it.